I am going to pray into the scripture, Romans 8 and 28. And it reads, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. And so uh, one of the things that I was just sensing today is how there are so many things that have happened to us that are not the purpose of God. They're not the will and plan of God. And a lot of times we say, oh, these bad things happen because uh, God wanted them to happen. Well, they didn't happen because God wanted us to happen wanting them to happen. However, God will work those things out for your good. So some things are happening to us uh, because of free will. God does not violate free will. So people do crazy stuff. They do challenging things, wicked things. And sometimes we become the culprit of those things. But God will use those things for our glory, for his glory and uh, for us to be someone who can bring him glory in the earth, okay? Uh, then there are things that happen because we messy, all right? Some of y'all messy out there. I'm going to cast the messy spirit out of you today, all right? We're coming for the messy spirit, all right? Some of us is messy, so things happen to us. Some of us sin, so, you know, sin has consequences, all right? Um, and so we're going to come against that too, but God can work it all out for our good and he can use it for our good. So that's what we're going to pray against. And then there are some things that are happening to us because of generational curses in our family line, because of who we're called to be in the earth. So, you know, the devil does not want us to succeed. Okay. Every time we succeed, every time we evolve, every time we do well in the earth, it is a hit to the enemy's camp. And so he does all kinds of things to um, challenge our lives. And so when that happens, um, um, he is not winning. All right. So we need to know that all things are working together for the good of who we are in God. And so I just want to bring some healing and wellness uh, to that today as we pray. And so as I'm praying, if you have some uh, things that you want me to specifically minister to concerning all things working together for our good, just put that in the comments and I'll add that to my prayer as I'm praying. All right. So, Lord, we just thank you, uh, Lord God, for who you are. We thank you, Lord God, that our lives are not dictated by circumstances. We thank you that our lives are not dictated, Lord God, by things that have happened to us, Lord God, or even things that we have allowed to happen, Lord Jesus Christ. We decree and we thank you that our lives are definitely not dictated by the devil, Lord God. We thank you for that right now. And so even now, Lord God, I just bless you for those who have just come, Lord God, today to receive of this prayer, Lord God. And I decree a refreshing anointing is hitting them right now, shifting upon them right now, Lord God, where they are coming into a revelation and understanding, Lord God, that though there have been challenges in their lives, Lord God, everything that has happened to them, Lord God, from age zero, from conception until now, Lord God. Yes, you will shift it for their good. You will use it for their glory. You will use it for your glory, Lord God. You will use it, Lord God, for their evolving success and wellness, Lord God. So I just decree that over them right now, Lord God. I decree that every lie is being nullified right now, that they can't get over it, Lord God, uh, that, that you caused it to happen, Lord God. Uh, I decree those lies are falling down right now, Lord God, being nullified off of them, broken off of them right now, Lord God, even as they are thinking about others. Uh, Lord God, who have this mindset, uh, Lord God, that they just will not get over what they have experienced, Lord God. We release these prayers right now, Lord God, over our loved ones, over our friends, Lord God. And we decree today that everything that we have experienced, Lord God, everything that our loved ones, our friends, Lord God, those that we are praying for, ministering to and ministering with, Lord God, have experienced you 
Lord, working it out for their good, Lord God. I just decree that trauma is being arrested today, Lord God. Hardship is being arrested today, Lord God. Frustration is being arrested today, Lord God. Why did this happen to me? Those words, Lord God, and even the power and the pain behind those words are being arrested today, right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, we arrest those words. We arrest the power, Lord God. God, of these concerns right now, uh, Lord God, under the subjectivity of the Holy Spirit right now. And we decree that every person is becoming, Lord God, uh, uh, healed and well, Lord God, by the truth, Lord God, that it does not matter what they have experienced. All things are shifting, Lord God, for their good, Lord God. So even we just go into these trauma areas that have happened to us, Lord God, even all the way back unto conception, Lord God, until when we were in our mother's womb, Lord God, until now, Lord God, we command healing of every area, Lord God, that looked like, uh, Lord God, and that uh, manifested, Lord God, uh, uh, contrary to your will and purpose for our lives, Lord God. Yes, Lord Jesus, we decree that these situations, uh, Lord God, are receiving the divine correction of your presence, the divine correction, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, uh, of your blood, your redemptive blood and your finished works on the cross, Lord God. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We decree the pain concerning these experiences, Lord God, is being arrested. We decree the power of the word curses that was even spoken in the womb, Lord God, is spoken throughout the years, uh, Lord God, are being arrested right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree, Lord God, every way that the enemy tried to change our mindsets about ourselves, our mindsets about you, Lord God, tried to alter our identity concerning these situations, Lord God, tried to get us to uh, 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 handle life, Lord God, and perceive life in a way that is contrary to you, Lord God. We decree a shift is occurring in our lives right now. Uh, a shift is occurring in the lives of our loved ones, Lord God, our friends. Uh, oh, Lord God, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, and we're shifting out to, uh, Lord God, of the hardship and challenges and hurts and pains uh, of these experiences, and we're shifting back into divine alignment of what you desire to, to happen in our lives, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I decree, Lord God, that all the shock and awe surrounding these traumas are being broken right now. We break them generationally. We break them, Lord God, on our mother's side and our father's side all the way back to Adam and Eve until now, Lord God. We break them, Lord God, off of ourselves. Oh, Lord God, off of our seed, Lord God, even off of our future generation, Lord God. We decree they are being broken right now, canceled right now, nullified right now, Lord God, as we decree Romans 8 and 28, all things are working together for our good, Lord God. We decree that we are not defined by these experiences. Uh, yes, just receive that truth today. You are not defined by your experiences. I break every way that rape has tried to define you. I break every way that trafficking has tried to define you. I break every way that abuse, incest, molestation has tried to define you. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break every way. Yes, that divorce has tried to define you. I break it. I break every way that bullying has tried to define you. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every way that poverty has tried to to define you in the name of Jesus Christ. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I break it every way. Uh, yes, yes, yes. That even uh, the, the patterns, the ungodly patterns uh, and cycles in your family line uh, have tried to, to define you. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every way. Uh, homosexuality has tried to define you. Uh, I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every way that the enemy has tried to alter your perception of yourself. 
your perception of your gender, your perception of uh, who you are as a man, who you are as a woman. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break uh, every way that trafficking spirits have tried to define you uh, and, and shift in and challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge uh, to sabotage your life uh, and to make you think that God did not want you here, to make you think that you should have never been born, to make you think uh, that you are rejected, abandoned, uh, that you will never find your place in life, uh, that you will never find a sense of belonging, uh, a sense of approval and validation. I break uh, those lies right now today uh, in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree Romans 8 and 28 uh, is filling you up right now in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that even as these things uh, happen they do not define who you are Jesus Christ uh, defines who you are Jesus Christ uh, defines who you are shift Jesus Christ uh, defines who you are shift right now Jesus uh, Christ defines uh, who you are Jesus and Jesus alone uh, uh, yes defines who you are so I just decree you're receiving a blood washing and a blood cleansing today uh, through the name, the power, and the authority of Jesus Christ uh, and his finished works on the cross and everything uh, that thinks uh, that it knows who you are is being broken off of your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, everything uh, uh, that your mother said, uh, that your father said that did not line up with God, uh, oh, it is being nullified right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything uh, that, that, that authority figures uh, spoke over your life that was not God is breaking right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, a name that is above every name. You are being scrubbed by the name that is above every name. The name that every knee must bow. The name that every tongue must confess uh, that he's Lord. Uh, that he's Lord. He is the author and finisher of your faith. He is the author and finisher of who you are. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so I just decree that you are being washed and cleansed. Uh, yes, by everything that has been spoken, even by ex extended family members, uh, even by uh, people in the community. Yes, uh, uh, these are false uh, 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 identities. Uh, these false uh, perceptions, uh, uh, they are being cast down today. Uh, yes, we are casting down every vain imagination and high thing that is exalting itself against the truth uh, that you, uh, yes, yes, are God's child. You uh, are being defined by God only. Yes, uh, and every other thing that has tried to define you, break, 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 uh, break off of God's people. People today, break off of every person that will uh, listen to this uh, prayer. Break, break, break in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of, of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every way that these words, uh, these word curses, these fiery darts are lingering. Uh, yes, in and around your frequencies, your airways, your spheres of uh, influence. Every way that they are uh, uh, shifting from generation to generation to generation. We halt them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, we decree a cease and desist right now as we call courts uh, on everything that is trying to define you, everything that is trying to hinder the purpose of God concerning your life, everything that has you stuck, uh, uh, yes, in the challenges uh, where you do not understand that all these things uh, are lining up right now. Every part of them, everything about them are lining up uh, and coming Coming under the plans of Jesus Christ because his word 8 Romans 8 and 28 said that all things all things everything 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 we speak that right now everything to the north south east and west everything under you everything over you everything around you everything concerning your mother's house your father's house everything concerning your bloodline everything concerning the situations in your life uh, are shifting. Uh, yes, yes. And realigning for your good uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, or shift 
lifting that's in turning around for your good right now. We close every door that is not for your good. We close them right now. Shut up. Yes, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Shut up in the spirit realm. Shut up in the dream realm. Yes, shut up. Shut up right now in and around God's people in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. We command the courts of heaven to release the judgment of God to release the they are a righteous uh, judgment that uh, came in through the cross. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, as Jesus is seated in heavenly places, judging uh, everything and interceding even on our behalf concerning everything uh, about us. Yes, Lord God. Uh, Yes, Lord God. So we decree uh, these demonic doors that are letting in altered pathways, uh, that are letting in altered plans, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, that are causing trauma to continuously operate in our lives, uh, that are causing hardship challenges to continuously uh, operate in our lives. They're shutting up uh, right now. Uh, yes, over every person, around every person. We shut up hell and we decree the gates of hell shall not prevail. You are not prevailing. Uh, you are not prevailing. You are not prevailing. You are not prevailing in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not prevailing in our lives. You are not prevailing in our marriages. You are not prevailing. Yes, in our children. You are not prevailing in our household. You are not prevailing. Yes, yes, yes. In our land. You are not prevailing in our region. You are not prevailing. Yes, in our spheres of influence. You are not prevailing in our situations. You are not prevailing in our our ministries, our businesses, our, our destinies, our callings. You are not prevailing. Yes, in our health, uh, you are not prevailing. Uh, in our finances, you uh, are not prevailing. In our relationships, Uraka, yet to ring it out Sunday, God, you are not prevailing. Yes, uh, we shut up the gates uh, of hell. Uh, we assert our right to have the king, the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Uh, yes, 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 uh, yes, yes, yes. And we lock uh, up the gates of hell. Uh, concerning our lives, concerning our destinies, uh, concerning everything uh, that is under our governance. Yes, in the, the name of Jesus. Uh, yes, yes, the ultimate gatekeeper. Yes, uh, we decree Jesus is uh, the ultimate gatekeeper of our lives. Yes, uh, the ultimate gatekeeper of our destinies, uh, our situations. Yes, Lord God. Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. So even as I have prayed this, Lord God, uh, I decree you are healing every person under the sound of my voice. Uh, you're healing them from everything, uh, Lord God, that has happened, that has been contrary, oh uh, Lord God, to your purpose. Uh, you are healing them uh, and they are shifting right now, Lord God, to those things becoming a testimony where your word says that we have overcome, uh, oh, by the blood of Jesus Christ uh, and the word of our testimony. Yes, Lord God. Uh, so even as you have spoken Romans 8 uh, and 28 over us, Lord God, uh, we receive the truth that these things are working together for our good. Uh, we release forgiveness to every person we need to forgive, Lord God. We release the need to avenge. Uh, oh, Lord God, we put it in your hands, Lord God. Who can deal with you? All right. Who can deal with Lord, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? And, oh, Lord God. So anything that we think that we can do to somebody else, you can do greater, Lord God. So we just release them into your hands, Lord God. And we even decree grace uh, over them, Lord God, because we're accepting our healing today. We're accepting, Lord God, that we are not defined by what happened to us, Lord God. We are not bound by what happened to us, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, so we do not have to stay in the pain of it. So today we are renouncing the bitterness. Uh, we are renouncing the resentment. Uh, we are renouncing, Lord God, uh, well, yes, our need to avoid we are renouncing every way that tried to make us insecure, every way it tried to make us inferior, every way it tried to displace us in destiny, every way it tried to alter our, our identity, every way, Lord God, uh, oh, it tried to make us think some kind of way about you. You 
are God. You are the living God. You are the great and matchless Savior. Yes, Lord God. We come into that truth right now. We even release the anger that we have concerning you. We release, Lord God, any frustration concerning you, Lord God. And we shift right back right now into divine covenant with you. True covenant, Lord God, that let you be God and that trust that these things had nothing to do with you, Lord God. Yes, yes, but you are lining them up. They are becoming a testimony today, Lord God. The pain that we had before this prayer started, we will not have anymore. Lord Jesus Christ, as your transformation power is just flushing in and, 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 and shifting in and flushing out every person under the sound of my voice, Lord God. When they are being transformed by the renewing of their mind, Lord God. Yes, yes, and by the word of their testimony that they don't have to hold on to the pain. You don't have to hold on to the pain. You don't have to hold on to the pain. You don't have to hold on to the pain. The pain is becoming a testimony. I decree I, uh, uh, that to you right now. I decree your memory recall. Yes, yes, it's receiving uh, deliverance right now. Uh, and you are letting go the pain in your mind. You're letting go reliving the pain over and over and over. You're letting go vic the victim mentality. You're letting go the fears of loving again. Fears of, of shifting forth again. Fears of of trying again. Uh, you're letting those go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you're letting go fear. Uh, uh, is this going to happen to me? Is that going to happen to me? Is this going to happen to me? No, we closed those doors. Yes, yes, yes. And, and though even uh, as there would be hardship or affliction because of God's name's sake, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, he has given you power to endure by all these unnecessary experiences. We say no more to them. All these unnecessary hardships. We say no more to them. We shut the door to those things right now in the name of Jesus and we decree no more. We decree the divine protection of the Lord is shifting in on your life, on your behalf as only the pathway of God is being open to you. Only the door that God has designed for you before the foundation of the earth is opening up to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and your life is receiving divine order. Your marriage is receiving divine order. Your children are receiving divine order. Your loved ones and extended family members are, are exceeding, are receiving divine order. Your health and finances are, and your situations are receiving divine order through the power and works of, that's of Romans 8 and 28 because all things, all things, everything, everything, not one thing uh, yes, it's being slighted. Not one thing uh, is being dismissed about you. Not one thing uh, is being left out about you. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. All things uh, are working together for your good. So I decree you are receiving the healing. Uh, of this truth right now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I just decree strong, miraculous healing uh, hitting you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, strong, miraculous healing and wellness uh, shifting into every person right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, yes, 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 in the name of Jesus. Uh, yes, I decree purpose uh, is shifting in uh, and just filling you up right now, divine purpose. Uh, yes, redemptive purpose. Yes. Atone the purpose through the authority of the cross. Say yes, yes, yes. So Jesus paid it all. Jesus is healing it all. Jesus is delivering it all. Yes, yes, yes. So I'll just begin to receive some deep breaths. So take some deep breaths and receive that true Jesus is healing it all. Yes. Every place that you felt inadequate about your purpose, you are receiving an infilling of confidence and boldness through the Holy Spirit right now. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, of knowing that despite everything uh, you have experienced, uh, uh, yes, you can do destiny with God. God has you. God has your training and equipping. God has, uh, yes, 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 uh, the plan uh, for you. God has the guidance that you need to continue to evolve uh, in what he has called you to do in the earth. Yes, uh, yes, yes. You will not miss it. I decree you are healing right Right now, that truth that you will not miss it. You will not uh, miss destiny. Uh, yes, I decree that over you right now. You will not uh, miss.
this destiny. You will not to die with destiny in your womb in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 sir. yes, yes. But an evolving uh, is coming to you today, uh, uh, evolving a purpose, uh, is shifting in uh, and healing you today. Divine healing, uh, God's healing uh, is overtaking you today. God's uh, purpose is overtaking you today. What God uh, has said about you, uh, yes, yes, his ambition for you, his aspiration for you, yes, yes, is filling you up right now. His strength uh, for you is filling you up right now. God God's determination, uh, yes, and direction concerning you is filling you up uh, right now in the name of Jesus. God's goals uh, that he desire you to work on in this season, in this hour, yes, it's filling you up right now, filling up your heart. Uh, it's filling up your mind, your mindset. Yes, uh, yes, God's ideas uh, of what you need to do in the earth, uh, uh, yes, to be witty, uh, yes, and to prosper is shifting uh, and filling you up right now in the name of Jesus Christ. God's intent, because his word says his thoughts and plans towards you are good and not of evil to bring about and expect the end. And I just decree that his intentions yes, are healing you. His intentions are filling you up right now. Yes, filling up your soul, filling up your heart. They're filling up your mind. Yes, they're filling up your perception of yourself. They're filling you up. They're taking the place uh, of those traumas. They're taking the place of those errors, identities, those false identity. And you are being filled up with God's identity and God's uh, intent, uh, God's objective uh, for your life, God's plan for your life. God's principles for your life. Yes, even I just decree you're receiving a love, a new love for the word of God, a new love for the standards of God, a new love to read God's word, a new love to pray and to commune with God, a new love to expect God to move on your behalf, to expect God to bless you, to expect God to produce testimony after testimony for you, a new love, yes, for God as your father, for God as your savior, for God as your Lord, for God as your ruler, for God as your governor, for God as your daddy, for God, uh, yes, 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 uh, yes, 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 uh, yes, yes, uh, uh, yes, yes, uh, your savior, for God, uh, yes, 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 uh, yes, uh, one who loves you unconditionally, yes, and chose you for such a time as this. I decree that. I decree you're filling up with the projection of God. You're filling, you're filling up right now with the scope of God. You're starting to see things as uh, God has planned them. You're, uh, you're starting to see uh, the future, the expected end that God has for you. So every other uh, ungodly uh, uh, perception that you have uh, in your eye gates uh, about yourself, uh, about your life. I decree those things are drying up right now and you are receiving the eyes of Christ uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I decree you're receiving the ears of Christ as demonic voices are silencing. Uh, voices that are not lining up with God that tells you you couldn't do it, you shouldn't do it, you better not do it. Or oh, Those things are drying up right now in in the name of Jesus, we command every devil to shut up. In the name of Jesus, and we command your ear gates uh, uh, to open up uh, and hear God. Uh, we decree you will hear God like never before. Come on, just take a deep breath and receive uh, uh, that transition. Receive, uh, yes, yes, that transformation in your ear gates. You will hear God like never before. In the name of Jesus, yes, uh, you will hear him and you will obey him. So I decree you are even filling up with a heart to obey God, a heart to, to trust God. Yes, to trust God that even as the he would tell you the little things to do, you would do them so that you could continuously unfold his purpose for your life for such a time as this. Yes, I decree you're filling up 
with the mission of God. You're filling up right now. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, with the promises of God. Uh, you're filling up right now with the fruit and character of God. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And I decree that you're even pursuing uh, the fruit and character of God because nothing stands unless you stand inside of God, his character, his nature, his fruit. Uh, yes. So I decree that to the very foundation and essence of you you, that you want to be like God. Uh, you want to operate like God. Uh, you want to look like God. You want to live uh, like God. You want to be a representation of God uh, that even as you would testify, it will not testify of mixture, but it will testify and people will know that they are receiving the prophecy of Jesus Christ through you. Uh, yes, through what you are speaking about God. Yes, Lord God. So I just decree more of your character Lord God, every uh, personality trait uh, that is not like you, personality quirk, uh, every personality pet peeve, uh, Lord God, that is not like you, everything that was passed down, uh, Lord God, that was ungodly uh, concerning our personality and character, we renounce it today, Lord God, uh, and we do decree that we are receiving the fruit of your Holy Spirit, uh, we're receiving your very character Lord Jesus Christ, we're receiving the very nature of you every way, Lord God, that sin uh, uh, altered our nature, Lord God. We decree that that is being flushed out today and we are being healed right now, Lord God, healed by your nature, healed Oh, Lord God, as we receive uh, uh, the character of you, the nature of you, Lord God, the fruit of you. Yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Just take a deep breath and receive that. Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. I just decree that every person is receiving uh, healing, more healing, Lord God. Healing as they're being infused uh, in you, Lord God. They're being infused, uh, oh, Lord God. Uh, uh, yes, in the greatness of who you are, Lord God, in the grandeur of who you are you are a big, big God. And they are starting to see themselves. Oh, Lord God, in all of uh, uh, the glory of who you are in them, Lord Jesus. Yes, I decree they're being filled up in joy. Oh, Lord God, they're being filled up, Lord God, to be fulfilled in this life, Lord God, as you are bringing forth uh, Romans 8 and 28 in all things, Lord God, are working for their good. So I just decree that everything that every person has been through, Lord God, it is shifting right now, Lord God, and working for their good. I decree, Lord God, that every trial, uh, every way that the enemy stole from them, every way that he tried to kill, steal, and destroy, Lord God, your word says that we see a thief, we can ask for it back sevenfold. Lord God, I decree divine sevenfold restoration upon every person, Lord God, and a hundredfold for their troubles, Lord God. Uh, yes, Lord God, uh, I just decree that right now, and I decree those things are shifting in and working for their good, Lord God. Even as they're, uh, those things are becoming testimonies, uh, oh Lord God, I thank you for how they're going to drain hell through the word of their testimony, Lord God, as you work out everything for their good, Lord God, I decree they were going to be so healed and well, Lord God, and have such a, a powerful anointing upon their lives, according to Romans 8 and 28, that the devil will not want to touch them, Lord Jesus Christ, because he know that all things are going to just work out for their good, Lord God. So, uh, yes, Lord God, I just decree that over over them. I decree a refreshing, Lord God. Let a strong refreshing uh, come up on them right now. Come up on their marriage right now, Lord God. Uh, yes, Lord God. Uh, yes, you are shifting everything for their good. Come up on their household. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Let a new glory shift into their household, uh, Lord God, as we decree that, that our households are discard free zones. Our households are sickness and disease free zones. Yes, Lord God, our households. Uh, yes, Lord God. Uh, yes, or demonic free zones. Yes, Lord God. Uh, yes, I just decree that over every person. Our households, Lord God. Uh, yes, or are, 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 are challenging free zones. Uh, Lord God, I decree peace is shifting in. Peace is shifting into the marriages. Uh, Lord God, peace is shifting in concerning uh, the 
children in, in the households, Lord God, under the sound of, of my voice, Lord God. Uh, yes. Uh, and they are even receiving God identity through this prayer today, Lord God. We decree purpose coming forth, purpose only coming forth, divine, godly purpose, Lord God. We renounce anything that we thought we should be. We renounce anything, Lord God. Uh, uh, yes, that is contrary to what you want us to be, Lord God. And we decree purpose. Uh, we decree uh, dreams, uh, Lord God, that reveal our purpose, reveal our the purpose of our marriages, uh, the purpose of our children, the purpose of our ministries, our destinies, our callings, the purpose of why we're on that job, the purpose concerning who we are in the community, the purpose, uh, oh Lord, concerning why we're in this relationship and that relationship. We decree divine purpose, uh, shifting in, Lord God, uh, and we decree uh, revelation uh, coming in, Lord God, understanding, clarity, Lord God. The word says that your ways are above our ways and your thoughts are above our thoughts, but it did not say we could not ask for them, Lord God. So today we are asking for your mysteries. We are asking for your thoughts. We're asking for your ways. We're asking for your revelation and purpose. Oh, Lord God. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord God. Uh, yes, to infuse our lives, to infuse our marriages, to infuse our children, to infuse our relationships, to infuse our households, our land. Yes, to infuse everything that concerns us, Lord God, where we represent God identity and your purpose, your purpose, God, your purpose. I heal every person in your purpose. Yes. Yes, Lord God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you that they're even filling up with obedience to uh, uh, shift forth in what you are telling them to do, even the little things, Lord God. Yes, you said that the foolish things uh, confound, the, uh, confound the wise. You said, Lord God, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, yes, that everything is working for our good, Lord God, uh, even the little things. And so we know that even as we will do the small things, uh, oh, Lord God, you will make Make room for more, Lord God. Even things that don't sound like, oh, I don't know about that. It doesn't matter. If you said it, Lord God, we're going to be obedient, Lord Jesus Christ, and trust to you. Lord God, so I just decree that right now. I decree your healing right now. You're refreshing over every person right now, Lord God. Thank you over every generational line. Lord God, right now, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord God. I decree this prayer is eternal, Lord God, and no devil in hell shall steal, Lord God, the fruit and fullness of this prayer, Lord God, and that we will only evolve in Romans 8 and 28 from this day forward, Lord Jesus. I just decree that through your matchless name, your miraculous name, Lord God. Yes, yes, yes. It is so. It is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.